women fleeing domestic violence, this is an incredibly tough time of the year. But the Soul Sisters are hoping to make the holidays a bit brighter for women in shelters. We take a look at how they're making a difference in this week's Vital People. Decked out in Santa hats and reindeer ears, the Soul Sisters are getting into the holiday spirit by giving back to the community. Every year at this time especially, the Soul Sisters come together and we do things for the community. And at this time of year in particular, we are all so grateful and fortunate for the gifts that we have. We really want to share with others. We can make a difference and I think that's, that's what brings us all together. It just brings so much joy to my heart. Uh, we all pitch in together to do the very best that we can to help those who aren't as fortunate. This year, the Soul Sisters are making 50 grab-and-go survival bags for women fleeing domestic violence. We call them the sister packs that are combined with all different things that women need when they might arrive at Women's Transition Home. They may arrive with nothing except the clothes on their back, so these are necessities to get them through and also some love and care. <laughs> They're also collecting gently used jackets, sweaters and shoes for Women's Transition House to go with the sister packs. Many women arrive without clothes, without shoes, uh, so I just made a bit of a mission for myself to go out and collect from uh, my friends this week and uh, collected about 45 pairs of gently used running shoes to um, get people started on their way. When Mena started the Soul Sisters Running and Walking Group 16 years ago, it was to empower women and it's still at the heart of everything she does. This is what it's all about. We want to empower women to believe that they can, to know how much they matter. And all of us that come to Soul Sisters, we've, we've been through different things, different struggles, and we're just so grateful to have and to be able to do what we can do. We want to share that message. Over the years, Mena, who's now also a Saanich counselor, has made it her mission to give back to the community that rallied around her family when her young son was diagnosed with cancer. If I can share and give that back to somebody else that might be struggling right now or might think that they're alone, that is a gift in itself. Oh, Maine has been such a, a great support for our community and um, continues um, always to think of others. And she's a great example of um, how we should all support our community during the holiday season. It's always, always been such a fun journey with Mena and all these very strong and beautiful women that do so much to bring goodwill to this community. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.